Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man. It's time to make some soap, but I'm not making soap for bathing or for donation like I normally do. I'm making soap for dishwashing. If you've watched me do it before, you know that I do it just because it's a hobby. I enjoy it. That's why I'm doing it again. And I normally use leftover bacon grease or hamburger grease to make it. Not doing that time. I don't have any bacon grease, don't have any hamburger grease, but I'm almost at a dishwashing soap. The last one I made was a spin swirl, and this is the cut bar. This is one of the cut bars. I only have two left. So, since I'm not making as much soap for donation as I used to, I'm just using my regular recipe. Some of my more expensive oils and colors and fragrances, because, you know, hey, I want to do it. So, I am using my regular recipe with the exception of I'm using 0% super fat because it's to wash dishes and your dishes don't need the super fat. One other thing I'm doing differently is my titanium dioxide. I'm trying something different. I'm mixing it with water instead of oil. I'm probably going to regret it, but we'll see. My recipe, I know it so well. If I use it, use a 10% water discount. I can use all kinds of titanium dioxide. I can let, let it go through an extended hot gel and I don't get glycerin rivers. Um, my soap normally is placed on a heat source so it stays in an extended hot gel and it's ready in 12 hours. I'm going to try something different. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to mix my Tidox in water. I'm just going to let it sit on the counter. I'm using different greens. I'm trying a green that Lisa my friend Lisa gave me. It's called Cap and Fever. Haven't used it yet. Been wanting to. I'm using an old standby favorite, Nurture Soaps, Green Vibrance. Love it. And another, Bramble Berries Aqua Pearl. I'm going to be scenting it with leftover Mad About Mint from Nurture Soap. Don't have enough for a full batch, so I'm just going to go ahead and use it up with the rest in this. Let's just get started. See what happens. If it doesn't work it's all right but I do have a plan B if it doesn't work I have my hanger tool ready if the design doesn't work I also have a spoon ready if I got to change design because it may get too thick we'll see last time I wasn't quite ready and it got too thick on me and I wasn't planning on it getting thick because the fragrance usually behaves That's all we're going to do for now. So, my usual procedure, get into my four containers as close to equal as possible. Close is good enough. Color it, scent, and pour it. That is daggone close. I'm going to scrape this out because I don't want it to go to waste. Right, sorry for the noise. Let's get her sense in. I'm actually going to do the Tidox last. Well, no, let's just go ahead and do it. This is Tidox just in water. A little nervous about that, putting that much water into it, but we'll see. Oh, and half of it settled in the bottom. I'm going to put a teaspoon each of my three greens into each container. One each. Let's see how they work. I 
have found that a lot of greens, including this beautiful green vibrance, morph when they hit lye solution and turn kind of an ugly green, but they always turn back. And this green vibrance is one of the most beautiful greens I've ever seen in soap. But it won't be for the first 24 hours. All right, let's stir these in by hand. We'll stick blend as necessary. Love that aqua pearl too from Bramble Bear. Now here's the um, cabin fever grain I haven't seen. Kind of yellow. Like I can't describe it. You'll have to determine yourself. All right. Plus it's mixed with lye, so it's probably morphed. Now let's go ahead and stick blend just a little because we're behaving well. And I'll stir the fragrance in by hand. Just a quick blast. I'm only going to put the, green, the fragrance into the greens because I don't think I have enough. I'm going to stir it in by hand and then we're ready to pour this. Stir that up. We're holding up well. You know, the green vibrance is not looking very pretty right now, but that always happens and it turns back to a gorgeous green after 24 hours. The aqua pearl is holding it beautifully. And I'm not sure about this cabin fever. It's kind of an olive green and maybe it's supposed to be. We'll see. We'll see after 24 hours. Let's pour this. Tidox is thickening a little, which is kind of common. And that's all I'm going to get into the mold, which is fine. I knew that was a little bit much for this mold, so... Oops. I'll just pour the excess into one of my individual cavity molds, like I usually do. It's for dish soap anyway, who cares? And I'm just going to shake those down. I'm 
don't think I'm going to worry about them because once again they're for dish soap, so who cares? But we'll see if I can get a decent looking top on this one. The rest of those I'll clean up off camera and get into the rest of my mold over there so it's not gone to waste. And I'll just spread these out a little bit. And make a little bit of a top on it. Knowing that this green vibrance that's now not very pretty is going to look beautiful when it saponifies 24 hours later. Tapped on the ground. Spray with a little alcohol so we don't get soda ash on the top and instead of putting this on a heat source I'm just going to let it sit open on the counter and do its thing we'll see once again it's for washing dishes so who cares if it doesn't turn out right? Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow or the day after, depending on how long this takes. All right, bye. Okay, so we're back to cut the soap. <clears throat> uh, if you watched the video, this is going to be for washing dishes. If you've watched me do this before, you know that I use either leftover bacon grease or leftover hamburger grease and make dish soap for washing dishes, hand washing dishes, and that way that animal fat doesn't go to waste. Well, I don't have any, and I'm running low on that, and since I'm not making a whole lot of soap because the street ministry is not happening, I just wanted to go ahead, get creative, make a pretty bar of soap. This is my regular recipe that I always use for bathing. The only difference is this has 0% super fat, since obviously I don't need that to wash dishes. That's the only difference. Let's cut into it and see what happens. Got a nice gel because it's all shiny and slick and smooth. Very nice. And I can see the distinct greens. This top one is the aquamarine, excuse me, the aqua pearl. This is brambleberries of green vibrance and this sort of olive is um, cabin fever that my friend Lisa gave me. And I fragranced it with Nurture Soaks and Mad About Mint. I just had this and used it up. I love this stuff. Smells fantastic and it really holds up in your cold process. Now I'll let these sit and cure for a couple of weeks just because I want to make sure that they have fully completely saponified and it's pure soap. But these don't have to go through a four to six week cure time because I'm not bathing with them and I'm just going to shave them down to melt them and wash dishes. So actually they'll be better if they don't fully dry out and get nice and hard. Oh, 
these look pretty. I'm happy with this, especially since it's just dish soap. I will have to remember this color combination, this pour for bathing soap. All right, in a couple of weeks or so, I'll do a video on how I use this. I've done it before, but I'll do another one. Plus, I had leftover batter, which I always do with this recipe and that mold, so I just poured these into individual cavity molds. It takes about half of one of these to do a big load of dishes, but we'll get to that another time. But yeah, these turned out nice. So everybody, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you later. Bye.